Hey, what up? I'm Pastor Matty Ice. I'm Victoria. And do you love the island of Saipan? Or any other island? We do too. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to be healthy on the island via food and exercise. We're going to show you three activities that you can do on this island or any other island. First, check out this intro video. Hey, what up? I'm Pastor Matty Ice, and this is my wife, Victoria. And we love water. Our dog is water, the ocean in Saipan is water, and people around the world drink water. So go on an adventure with us by hitting that subscribe button as we make a splash around the world. So the first thing we promised to show you is food. So the first thing you can do when making food on this island or any other island is to prepare. Be prepared. What are you going to eat? When are you going to eat? How are you going to eat? Especially, I mean, we're like a communal society. You could quickly eat way too much food. It's like, hey, come over here, eat this food. Come over here, eat this food. You want to go get ice cream? You want to go? It's like, oh, you're overeating. So be prepared. And I guess this works if you're not on an island too. Mm -hmm. Just be prepared because you can quickly overeat, eat too much, your sugar gets out of whack and then you get tired and then you're not really the healthiest. But what may not work everywhere is adjusting. So here on the island, sometimes you can't find bananas, sometimes you can't find black beans, sometimes you can't find hummus or tortillas or lots of things. <laughs> So you go to the store with maybe an idea of what you want in mind, but know that you may not always find it, so you have to have a backup plan. So be flexible and have an ability to adjust when you go there, and don't just adjust by going to the discount section at Joe 10 and be like, huh, I want all these snacks. You don't need all those Fruit Loops. Next, what to do about activities here on the island. Again, prepare and adjust. What if it's raining? I want to run up Suicide Cliff, which if you park at that number, I think it's number 11, right past, it's like a, a mile past the last command post, and you run up to the top of Suicide and run back, it's three miles up, three miles back. If you park down all the way at the bottom, at the port of Saipan, and run up to the top of Mount Tapachau, it's like four and a half miles, but what if it's raining and you don't want to run up the steep slope, or you don't want to like, so you got to be able to adjust. So the three activities we're going to tell you about, the first one is hiking. I mean, that's obvious. You're, you're going up, you're using your arms sometimes. If you're at El Toro or a couple spots there, Forbidden Island, when you're going through the rocks, when you're going to Hidden Forbidden. The wind tunnel, we have to use The wind tunnel, you use your arms there. If you're old, out of Old Man by the Sea, you gotta climb the... Okay, so it's legs, arms, you're paying attention. A lot of health obviously goes into that. Mm -hmm. Second activity. Swimming. Swimming. I love swimming. You can't really do laps because it's not a pool, I mean, you but you can, can figure out other ways to do laps. Yeah. You know, this is that point and this is that point and you go back and forth against the current, not against the current. I mean, here at our beach, you can swim from tank to tank if you want. Tank to tank. Tank to tank. Another thing Saipan like built in for us mm -hmm. is Beach Road. You go anytime there and you park there by the shack and there's like all the cars. Yes. All the time. And so, and I'm sure on your island, wherever you are, there's that spot that they have built in for you to make sure. And the cool thing about Beach Road is the sunset. Like, you know, the ship's there in the background, yeah, the it's sunset's coming. It's beautiful. Work out with beauty. But work out with beauty. Sometimes it's a little difficult to keep the social distance right now, but a lot of people do wear their mask. Peace, Peace Park is another place uh, mm -hmm. to, you know, be able to walk and stuff. But Beach Road has things built in to where you can do your triceps. You can do a pull-up bar there. They have things built in for you. Now, bonus point, what's the, what's the fourth one? We said we had three exercises. What's the fourth one? Team sports. Team sports. I mean, volleyball, basketball, all the time there, mm -hmm. uh, the park, uh, ultimate frisbee. There's so much to do here to be mm -hmm. active and to be healthy. You're using your arms, you're using your legs, you're working the cardio. You, it, you just got it all. And not to mention, you're going to sweat. There is a that. Lot. Yes. For whatever island, whether you're on Saipan or any island, you know you're just going to sweat. Yep. In conclusion, it's all about flexibility. Not like yoga flexibility, I mean... You could do yoga. You could do yoga. It's all about being flexible. When are you gonna eat? What are you gonna eat? Where are you gonna work out? Is it raining? Is it too hot? Whatever. So just be flexible, but know that there's always obstacles yeah. with anything you do, wherever you are. Island, the Midwest, who cares? Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to overcome the obstacles. There's always gonna be a reason for you to say, I don't wanna be healthy. Figure out what those are, 
and realize that your desire to be healthy is more important than those obstacles. Mm -hmm. That was good. Well, just go be healthy wherever you are, and hopefully we'll see you out there. I'm Pastor Matty Ice. I'm Victoria. Our associate pastor water is behind us and all around us because we're on an island. Wherever you are in the world, stay chill and, and float, float on. We left the air conditioner on. Oh. I hope that there's not a humming in the background. <laughs> <laughs>